Hey everybody, in this video I want to talk about my favorite medication and that is Martel Clout. I use this medication anytime I'm setting up a new tank and I'm obviously adding new fish. And it's a great treatment if you see problems with your fish. Now here's where I need to add a couple words of caution. It's almost impossible for the normal fish keeper to diagnose what's exactly wrong with their fish. To do it properly, you need to have a microscope with effective objective lenses. You need to have contrasting dyes. You might need, even need to have some selective uh, agar media. It's a really complicated process that requires laboratory equipment. So as fit, normal fish keepers, the best thing we can do is guess. And so if you notice your fish are, uh, are bloating, the classic Malawi bloat, if you notice that they have white stringy poop, and I know for some people with angels, if the angels start behaving weird, stop eating. My suggestion would be clout should be your first, uh, your first stop, and I'll explain to you why I think that. So I printed off the MSDS, or at least that's what we, I guess in America it's SDS, in Canada it's MSDS, but I printed this off from Fritz Industries, which makes clout. And the thing that we are interested in is right here when it talks about the two active ingredients. This is kind of funny because cellulose is inert and it doesn't do anything but they disclose it. Cellulose is just a, a bunch of sugars put together that we can't digest. But the metronidazole and the trichlorophon is definitely the two of the three active ingredients in this med. The thing they don't put on here, which I think is hilarious, is the malachite green. But we'll talk about that as well. So, let's first get a quick anatomy lesson on the biology of the digestive tract of fish. Okay, let's do a simple biology lesson here with fish. And at the same time, you guys can marvel at my artistic skills. So just like humans... Fish have a continuous tube from the mouth to the anus called the digestive tract. And the start of their digestive tract is aerobic, which means it has lots of oxygen with respect to the air that we breathe, the air that we live in. But as you move down the digestive tract of the fish, the oxygen gets used up by all the bacteria and all the microbes living in these systems. And eventually, you use up all the oxygen, oxygen disappears, and then you get an anaerobic condition or without oxygen. And this is where metronidazole comes in. I mean, I'm not going to say at this point or that point because who knows. But in anaerobic conditions, you have a special suite of bacteria that can harm your fish. So the metronidazole in clout targets the anaerobic side of the digestive system of the fish. And that's a huge distinction to make because if you're giving them another medication like erythromycin, for example, it's going to completely ignore the anaerobic conditions. Also, that's why metronidazole doesn't affect your nitrifying bacteria, the ones that take ammonia to nitrite to nitrate, because they are aerobic and they utilize oxygen. So metronidazole is safe for your filters because it's not gonna select that half of your filter. I hope that all makes sense. So the first thing I'll talk about is the metronidazole. Metronidazole, like I showed you in the diagram, selects for anaerobic bacteria, but it also does a bunch of other things which can really help us out. It can select for flagellated protozoans, and some of you might be familiar with hex or hexameda. That's one of those. Another one is giardia. Humans can get uh, beaver fever or giardia quite common in, in warmer, more forested areas. And the other thing it's been known to do is select for some nematodes. Now, if you have something like Calamanus cautii or some other horrible nematode, I wouldn't recommend metronidazole. 
There's specific medications for that, such as levamisole or fenbendazole. But it, what I'm trying to show is that metronidazole does a wide range of things and it doesn't touch aerobic bacteria which will harm your filter. The next thing it has is trichloroform, which is your standard run-of-the-mill insecticide. It's called an organophosphate, but all it really does is it paralyzes insects. But it also has been known to take out schizosomes, which is a parasitic flatworm. So if you, if you look at these two things, it's covering a wide scope of problems that can inhabit the intestines of your fish. The other thing it has that they don't disclose, but it's in there, is malachite green. And again, malachite green is a, is a great treatment for external fungal infections, ick, the white spot that most people know about, and then some dinoflagellates, which are uudiniums, which are these really cool things are kind of protozoan algae mix-ups. So if I... If you look at the scope of this medication, it's huge and it can select for a lot of things that we don't even know might be inside your fish. And so I use it preventatively because it can take out all this stuff. But if your fish are sick, and again, we can't really figure out what's going on empirically unless we have lab equipment, I really recommend trying clout if uh, you want to just take a shot in the dark, which I think most fish keeping uh, medicating is, I really recommend using Martel Clout. So the way that Martel wants you to administer the medication is you drop one tab per 10 gallons of water. And what you do is they want you to pre-mix it before you add it into the aquarium. So I just got a Pyrex measuring cup used uh, my wife's whisk which she was totally pumped about M mix it all up and then dumping it in now the weird thing is is it has a whole bunch of cellulose in it which is non-soluble in water and that's what that white cloud is um, they need that to actually make the pills so it's like in a pill form it's user friendly but it kind of leaves this weird cellulose film it's almost like dust, but don't worry about that. It's it's not soluble in water, so it's just going to sit around, but it, it won't affect anything. The other way that you could administer clout is you can actually put it right into your filters, and I'll show you how I do that right here. Another way that you could administer clout is you can actually take the tabs and drop them into the very last stage of your filter. So just once it's gone through all your bio, all your foams, at the very bottom or the last stage, you can just drop the tabs in there and all the medication will dissolve into the water and get carried out. And then what you'll have left is just the cellulose in the tabs. And the next time you clean your filter, you can just take those tabs out and rinse them out with water and you're good to go. There you go, that's my overview of clout. I know this was a bit of a longer video, but I wanted to do a good job uh, reviewing this medication for the people that are interested in it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.